Hey guys, today we have Christina from Kristen Luxury Homes and she's going to be giving us a tour of this gorgeous um, finished home here in Anmore, BC. Uh, Christina, can you share a little bit about the home that we are in here today? Yeah, for sure. So um, this home is built in Anmore, as Sarah just mentioned. Um, it's in a new subdivision called Bella Terra by the Lake that we're working on building out. It is um, custom designed, built to sell, so um, it's all finished now, ready to go. And yeah, we designed this home and built it with kind of families and entertaining in mind. We wanted something that was a bit on the traditional side, um, had like a cozy feel, but still rooms that related to each other and that were open, um, great for entertaining, great for spending time with family, and had a bit of that masculine and feminine touches in it. Um, and yeah, we'll take on a tour and show you how it all came together. I'm excited. So can you share with us maybe some of the vision and design inspiration behind the room that we're in here now? Yeah, for sure. So right now we're in the great room. So when you first walk into the home, it's the first thing you see, it's your first impression. Um, we've got these beautiful double height ceilings with a coffer detail um, and some feature lighting. We've got, basically this room is all about just feeling grand but cozy. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you've got a ton of natural light because there's this huge wall of windows when you walk in, which is the first thing you see when you enter the house. Right. It's a really big feature. Um, you just get beautiful views of the green belt and the mountains in behind. I mean, it's really quite special and stunning. It is really stunning. Yeah. And, and how high are these ceilings? They are... This floor is 10 feet and the next one's 9, so 19, 20 feet. Okay, so yeah. lots of open light. And, and I really like how it kind of ties in with the rest of the home, but it's you know, going back to what you're saying, it really is the focal point of this house. It's, yeah. it's stunning. It's definitely like the first thing you see and just such a feature and it feeds so much light into the space. Yes. Um, like you can be in here without the lights off on most, with the lights off on most days. And, right. And you know, you're fine, which is awesome. So on this wall here, we're gonna have a really tall, um, grand fireplace, a gas fireplace with this beautiful black concrete surround mm. and then mirroring it on either side we've got built-in millwork. We incorporated some open shelving so that we could add some personality and character into the right. room. A space to display you know family photos, add some greenery, whatever suits you really and adds personality to the space and then of course there's a ton of storage underneath just to hide away. You know, things like home with a family room, mm -hmm. electronics, all that stuff. So. <laughs> Everything you don't want to see. Yes. And I think this goes back to, you know, what you're saying in terms of really planning from the design stage because you have lighting here, meaning you have to have electrical that's wired into here. So you really thought about the finished product from the very beginning to make sure it tied well together. Yeah, so some of the like nitty gritty stuff, just to use this room as an example, you have to think about where your plug for the fireplace is mm. so that it's hidden but accessible yes. on the shelf. You've got to have the pre-wiring for your lights, obviously, and you actually have to know exactly which lights you're using because when you drill the hole to run the wire, this one's not in the center, it's actually offset. Right. So you've got to just have all your specs ready, all of that stuff planned out so that you're drilling the hole in the right spot because that's a cabinet. I'm not just going to patch that. Right? <laughs> that's not a good mistake to make. Um, and then even things like if we look up at the ceiling detail, you have to know More what crown molding you're using, right. how low you want to drop those coffers, exactly where you're placing your lights and your air vents so that it's aesthetically I, pleasing. I was about to say, because usually you kind of have them in spread of places, but now that I'm paying attention, it's very, very strategic. Yes. And centered or mirrored depending on how you're looking at it yeah uh, so you guys are very detail oriented which i love yeah so am i no it, this is a stunning room and and i you know kind of looking at all the details now i can understand everything that you're thinking about in the very beginning that you don't maybe think about till the end but you've seen it all the way through yeah another good example actually is just even having that lamp in that corner um because the flooring in this house is radiant heat Yes. So with Radiant, you put your pipe down, you pour concrete on top of it. And if we have our furniture layout done before we even start construction, we know where things are going. So if you know you want a lamp in the corner, you can plan to have a floor lamp underneath your table so that you're not running a cord across to the wall. And someone's gonna trip over it and it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's just not cute. So now that, yes, so these are things <laughs> that I'm now picking up on because yeah. in a lot of 
homes, you know, new homes, but homes, these are not things that most people think about. And like you're saying, you know, radiant floor heating, you can't fix this after the fact. Once it's in, it's in. Yeah. And, and okay, so those are some great details. Okay, so now I'll walk you through over to the kitchen area. So this is space for a nook. That's why the light is hung at this height, so there can be a table here, right. lots of seating. And then um, before we get into the details of the kitchen, off the nook is the accordion doors that go to the backyard. So these all fold up and totally open up to give you a little bit of indoor-outdoor living. And this really truly makes it that indoor outdoor space that a lot of people are looking for but it's yeah. really hard to find. Yeah, definitely and it's just, you know, brings a lot of nice fresh air into the home. Entertaining obviously is much easier this way. It's yeah, really nice feature to have. It's nice because you've actually covered so this is a very large outdoor space and I see details here. Yes. <laughs> so, things to note in the outdoor area, we've got fire pit, the gas line is actually run into the concrete, so that's wired in, ready to go. Mm -hmm. You're not refilling propane tanks or anything like that. Um, and again, that just comes from knowing where you're gonna place your furniture later, right. so you've got it in just the right spot. Um, we've got heaters in the ceiling with the lighting. Again, everything's lined up, some speakers. Yes. The house is on um, control four, so it's fully automated. You can do it from your phone, from an iPad, whatever. So all that stuff's all wired in. And then, yeah, outdoor kitchen space sink, barbecue, obviously you have to plan for those things. Um, yeah, just a nice backyard with some really pretty views looking up to the mountains. But it's a great space out here because, you know, even though you have neighbors, it's very private. Yes. Like it's, you, you have, you know, green space right behind you. You have these stunning mountain views and it kind, it's almost like you're a lot further out from the city than you really are. I know, for being five, 10 minutes out, you feel like you're like somewhere else. Somewhere else. So walking back in, the first thing you see is we've got a big wall of pantry, built-in cabinets, um, totally framed in with the molding around it as a special little detail that we did. Mm, and yeah. I mean, you can tell, but these are pantry and then this is integrated fridge and freezer. They've actually got the stainless steel inside, which is a really nice touch, I think. But yeah, all our appliances are integrated, hidden behind the cabinet tree, keeps everything very clean. Um, you see that a lot now, just right, having everything tucked behind in the cabinets. But then you still have extra storage ab above. Oh yeah, this is all storage. Which most times people don't utilize the space. The space is there, but it's not utilized. Yeah, it's like That's good nice for touch. the once a year stuff, the trays, the yeah. cookie cutters, you know, all the little random things. Um, yeah, so we've got a nice big island. We've got a two-tone kitchen. We wanted it to feel Again, traditional but warm. Um, wanted this house to be bright, play off all the natural light that comes in. Um, some special details would be, we've got this backsplash here with the double herringbone pattern, um, just to give it a little bit of warmth with mm -hmm. all these hard materials. A plaster hood fan. We have um, on the sink wall over here, we have a stone trim that goes around the window. Right. Just to give it that special touch. Yeah, some display shelving, open shelving, just again, so you can add some character and personality into the home and really give it that warmth. Um, make it feel like it belongs, you know, to your family for whoever ends up living here. And then a lot more details because you have lighting here, you have lighting on either side of the hood fan. Mm -hmm. And I do love this, I want to do this on my walls, I want to plaster my walls. <laughs> but I'm kind so of pretty. scared at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a nice detail because you get that texture without it being too much, you know? Yes. And it's obviously like durable, like you're... Yeah, it's, it's a nice detail to have. So I have kids, so I need that for my entire house if it's durable. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then can you share with us a bit about, you know, the stone, because this is a very unique stone. Yeah, so this one is actually, um, this is a man-made stone, and it's actually printed. No way. Yeah, so this one, you know, we see both ends of the spectrum. Some right. people only want natural, some love the look, but are scared of you know, etching, maintenance, durability, all that right. stuff. So um, yeah, the stone's great because it gives you that really pretty look. Um, I mean, you see a lot of houses and this even, you know, fooled you a little, but it, um, it's a man-made stone. Which because it's cool. interesting, so the slabs must be very large then. Yeah, slabs are usually like 10 feet wide and however tall, so it's a bit. Okay, yeah. okay. And then are there any kind of maybe secret compartments in the kitchen? 
Um, it's pretty standard. I mean, we do have a waste area fully built in. So you've got, you know, recycling, compost, garbage, all that good stuff. Um, I like that it's raised as well as opposed to yes. dropped. And you can just like pull it out. It's not dragging on your floor. No kids or pets are getting into it. It's yes. just like a nice detail to have. Um, dishwasher is integrated. And then we like to put the microwave in the island so that you're not looking at it. It's the one yeah. appliance I can't put millwork on. <laughs> I can't hide it. So I like to put them in the island. Um, and then also you're not like lifting over your head or anything like that. It's just and then, to, yeah, it's tucked away. Yes. Aesthetically pleasing. Yes. And then yeah, just more storage over here. So yeah, tons of tons of storage in this kitchen. A lot of open opportunities, but still you're not struggling for a place to tuck things away. Right. Which is I think really important in designing a kitchen. And then do you want to show us the spice kitchen? Yes. So it's basically a mini version of the big guy out there. Um, again, we've got the wolf range with the same stone and backsplash in here. So you can just, you know, wipe it, keep it clean, window over the sink. Um, yeah, it's basically a mini kitchen. It's got dishwasher, sink, stove. But the same finishes, which is nice. Cause sometimes yes. I see like a slightly different um, visually or in terms of yeah. the, the color the color scheme, so it's nice that it kind of continues on and it doesn't look like it's a separate entity on its own. Yeah, this one, because of the way that it flows in from the main kitchen, I mean, there's a pocket door here, you could close it off, but mm -hmm. because of the way they flow in, it just made sense to keep it consistent and yeah, flow right through with the same colors and materials, for sure. No, it's well done, it's really well done. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so this room is the dining room right off of the sort of kitchen and entertaining areas, but at the front of the house. Um, yeah, just a nice spot to gather more formally. We did um, an applied molding detail on all the walls, but we did a white on white, so it was more of a textural detail rather right. than um, being too much. And yeah, just like a dressy, formal room. Got your windows looking out the front. And then another good detail about this house is in the entryway here, we did a herringbone floor pattern. Right. Just to give it some interest. It's got such a nice grand entry in this home that we just wanted to find a way to spruce it up and keep it, you know, design interesting. And you've kind of separated the spaces, so there's, yes. even though it's open, there's still a bit of separation from room to room and like entryway. Yeah. And this is like one of my little favorite rooms. The powder? <laughs> well, it's, it's the powder room. It's not really a room, but it's just so cute. Yeah. Do you want to show us? Yeah, of course. So in the powder room, um, we have a really pretty kind of bluey gray wainscoting detail around the bottom of the walls and then a nice wallpaper um, obviously on the upper part of the walls. We did a custom vanity. I mean all the millwork in this house is custom mm -hmm. but this one is designed to look more like a piece of furniture that it's on the legs, it's floating off the walls on the sides and um, we paired it with a really pretty um, stone. It's a marble but it's got a leather texture so it actually when the touch is really nice. It's got like this natural sparkle. It's got a bit of texture to it. It's it's a really pretty stone in person and when you're working with it. And then this is the office. So this room has more of the masculine vibes with the black. Um, we continued the herringbone detail in this room as well, but we kept the border just again, mm -hmm. we like to define the space on the floor as well as with walls and ceilings. Yeah. And yeah, again, we did an applied molding detail, a little bit more modern and clean in here. Um, just kept it interesting, a little bit more moody, and it's got a lot of great windows, so we didn't have to worry about painting walls black. It still feels big. Right. Um, it's still got the white coffered ceiling, so, yeah. I like how you have, like, you know, similar millwork, slightly different as you were saying, but it really ties, there's like a theme, and it's cohesive when you're going throughout the entire home. Yeah, definitely want to keep things cohesive. We, we use in this house a lot of similar materials but in different ways right. a lot um, like we use the same shape of tile maybe four different ways in this house in different spots but mm. it's the same literal size of tile but the way that we lay it is always different to keep things interesting but to feel like you have that continuity throughout the home right right now this is this is a stunning i would love to be working in this office space here <laughs> i know right <laughs> Okay, so we're in the laundry slash mud room now. This room is off the garage. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of bookends the office, which is on the other side of the main floor with this oh. kind of dark 
theme. Yes. Um, and of course, when you're coming in the house with shoes and stuff, it's nice to kind of keep the floors dark for cleanliness and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, we've got stack washer dryer here. It's actually one unit, so it's clean. Hello, it's <laughs> um, So we've got this, it's clean, nice little unit. And then on this wall, we've just got um, sink, wainscoting detail with these black counters. And then we actually installed a drying rack up above the sink for drying your clothes. We get that question from um, clients a lot when we're doing custom homes, looking for a place to dry their things. So we incorporated that. And yeah, just a lot of space. And then on this reverse wall here, we have a little bit of a cloak area. So hooks for, you know. Just um, easy access. Yeah, easy access if you kind of go. And you have drawers down here, so that way every, you know, kind of mess or maybe like kids shoes that are a bit smaller and awkward, you just kind of shove in there, which I like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just anywhere we could put a drawer or a cabinet to keep things tucked away is what we did. Yeah, just keep it clean. And I really like what you did here because the bar is almost a part of the design element. So as opposed to just a piece that's functional, it is aesthetically pleasing and you have that little strip of light there. So I didn't even I didn't even notice until you mentioned that there was a bar there that there's a drawing. Yeah, yeah, something handy, but not, definitely not an afterthought. It was certainly designed into the space. Clearly I'm, I'm learning that now. <laughs> Okay, so coming up the stairs here, the first thing that you see is this view over into the great room. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you just get one more moment with the windows and the view and a chance to enjoy all the light that comes in from it. And the one thing I love about this room is once you're on the second level, you really do see how grand the space is. And you know, the windows are stunning because they bring natural light in not only to your first level, but your second level as well and they really do frame the view that you see outside. You know, it's really beautiful. Yeah, so then I'll uh, show you to the end of the hallway here to the primary suite. So now we're in the primary suite and immediately you get these really pretty windows bringing a lot of light in and um, getting a view of the green belt there. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we've got fireplace with a concrete surround bed, nightstands, lighting, a bit of a tray ceiling detail in this room with the pot. And yeah, just a nice big room, lots of light. For the fireplace, so both here and downstairs, so they're custom, so you have to kind of create your own molding for both fireplaces, is that how it works? Yeah, with, um, you pick the design, you've got to have the size all right, and colors and all that stuff, so. Oh, right, I never thought of it, because I guess you have to yeah. mix the color of the concrete before it goes in. Yeah, and it can even be down to, for the one, this one was simpler, but the one downstairs, we actually had a few iterations of what sealer we wanted to use, because even once you seal it, it changes the color and the sheen and all that stuff, so. Wow. Yeah, a lot of little details to think of along the way, for sure. Clearly, clearly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then um, off the bedroom portion is the primary ensuite. Mm -hmm. So, this room has, First thing you see is the freestanding tub when you walk in this room. Um, really pretty corner window that again is just looking out at this green belt, super private. Yeah. Um, really serene. It is. It's, it's very spa-like because you get your outdoor nature uh, views while you're soaking from your tub. Yeah. And then, yeah, just kind of rotating around. Shower setup and then a vanity with his and her setup. And again, it's got that marble we talked about earlier with the sparkle and that leathered touch to it. So just a special detail that went in here. I really like how you use millwork to frame this space. I, I don't know, there, there's something about it that just kind of ties it together and really draws you into this space right here. Yeah, it definitely creates that sort of focal point. It brings yes. that warmth to the room. Like the room is still quite bright and airy. There's a lot of white, but I think because of how much wood was used, it, uh, it really warms it up. I think it makes it feel a bit more grand, like more of a map, like a primary. Definitely. No, it's really well done. I haven't seen anything like this, so no, I really like it. Okay, and then one of the sort of surprises of this room is the walk-in closet and just how long it is and how big it is. You're able to achieve a really nice size closet for this room and it's just filled with millwork. So tons of storage, a lot of drawers, all lengths of hanging, shoe shelves and you get the light from the windows that you see above the garage outside. I didn't realize how much storage was actually in here until you're really <laughs> in the closet. And there's, 
I do like that you have a lot of drawers because, you know, the different style of clothing that you have, the different accessories that you have, and the different heights of the drawers. So you can have like your bulkier sweaters down below, your accessories up on top. No, there's a lot of, you've used this space really well, I will say. And then some of my favorite exterior features of this home are these windows. So, I mean, there's obviously a European um, sort of inspiration, influence, influence thank yeah. you. Yeah, just something to soften up from the outside. The oval windows kind of softened up the outside. We actually, even the roof on this house is in a straight pitch, it actually kind of softens the pitch changes oh, near the ends just to kind of um, flow it out a bit so we've definitely got those details okay so we are in um, one of the bedrooms on the upper floor this one has its own ensuite and it's just finished with some extra little details just to give it some interest um, we've got the tongue and groove wall here as a bit of a feature wall and then um, tray ceiling in this room with the black lighting, with the organza shade, and yeah, just kind of, we staged it with kind of a fun, probably more of a boys theme with the darker blue. And then the um, color of that wall ties in with the color of the cabinet that we put in the ensuite. I see that. Yeah. But the nice thing in terms of the finishes that you did is that you can use different colored furniture to kind of go either way. So this could potentially be more feminine, oh, yeah. depending on, you know, the bedspread or the furniture that you have, so very well thought of. Thank you. Yeah, it's all about trying to keep it like, even when you're building a home for a custom client, taste evolve, especially when there's kids, like sometimes they have a different favorite color each year, you know? So yes. making it so that you can kind of adapt a little bit, but still keep the room interesting and feeling like more than just four drywall walls is something that we try to do for sure. Right, and then being able, like, pretty much what you're saying, growing with this space and not just having a pink room for one or two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that way you can, you know, kind of in one of the other rooms, you know, it's very, very cute, but you can still grow with the space because of how it's, it's done. Yeah, it's definitely the intention. Okay, so we are in the basement now, and we're standing in what's sort of a rec area, rec room with living area, We've got the bar and then right there we've got a nice wine wall feature as well. So storage and display and yeah, everything is again, custom cabinets. We went for, uh, I would say like, it's not super masculine, but we just went for like a more dark color with the cabinets in the basement just mm -hmm. to give it a little bit of a different feel from the rest of the house, but still tie in kind of a party vibe in a way, like having <laughs> the darker colors. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And I do like how it's backlit there, like all these, you know, details that are that are through the home but still tie together. You know, it's really well done. And then you have the speakers here, so yes, I see how you're saying for the party vibes. <laughs> yeah, you can make what you want out of this room, right? Yeah. And then one of the cool things about this room is it can either be a massive rec room mm -hmm. or depending on what the family's needs are in the future, um, this area right here where you see this drop in the ceiling can actually be closed up and this side could become its own separate suite with its own entrance. So we've actually got two doors to the basement down here. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, if somebody, you know, home office, relatives, rental suite, right. whatever, you know, you never know what your needs are gonna be, but um, we thought about all that and have all of the um, rough-ins in the walls ready for a kitchen, hood fan, all that stuff's planned out, ready to go. There's a little laundry room set up in there. Okay. Yeah. Bedroom with a walk-in closet on the other side, so. So it's nice that you thought about it because, I mean, every family has different needs, you know, depending on how much family is coming with them, if they have their, their parents coming with them. Um, you at least have that option to create some separation. And it's still really bright down here. Yeah, we're, you can be down here without the lights on when it's a nice day like today, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think because we did the, um, the stairwells are wider than what you need just to bring in more light um, so you don't have like this wall right up against your window they're a little bit bigger so you bring more light in you've got i mean that's a very large window for a basement it so. is because usually you can't get you know it that well i mean i, I guess going back to you talking about digging out the well because it costs more money because you're removing that dirt you also have to concrete everything Retain in it, yeah 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 so details like that just to help keep it brighter down here Feel like less of a basement make it a more usable space that you'll want to be in yes because it's so bright it really doesn't feel like it's a basement space like it's it's added space that's a little bit separated that you can utilize 
outside of your, your living space. So I really like how there's so much space in this home, like you have you know, your living spaces that are separate, you have your main floor, and even in your basement, which really doesn't feel like a basement because it's so bright down here, you even have your own separate workout space, which is nice. So you've really thought about the options for the end user in terms of what they can use the space for, whether it's yoga, gym, you've even installed mirrors here already. So it's nice that you have a lot of additional functional space. Yeah, definitely. Just trying to keep it flexible, have options, and you know, you never know how a family's needs will grow and evolve. This could be a playroom instead of a gym one day, right? But just fully pad it up. <laughs> yeah, just pad it up. But yeah, nice to keep it open and think of everything. No, it's nice, yeah. So Christina, thank you so much for giving us a tour of this stunning home. Um, when can we see more projects in the area uh, to come? Thank you so much for visiting. Um, we have another one next door that we're finishing in a few weeks, so we'll have to have you back and yeah, always keep them busy, so. Absolutely, so stay tuned for that. And again, thank you so much. Thank you.